uh, manifolds on my wife's Mustang. And I just did this side here, which is the driver's side, and I figured that uh, because the experience was quite fine and dandy on that, um, that I'd like to gloat for all my friends who live up in the uh, Rust Belt. Uh, so here's me. I'm going to loosen the passenger side exhaust manifold uh, collector bolt thingy there. I did spritz it about 10 minutes ago with a bit of PB Blaster. And uh, here I'm going to go ahead and put the long socket on this. And I'm going to... Oh, look at that. And that's what it's like to work on cars in Arizona. This is a 2002 Ford Mustang V6 automatic. Uh, mechanically, it's absolutely stock with the exception of Bilstein shocks and a rear sway bar from a GT. Uh, otherwise, engine transmission completely unmodified, exhaust completely unmodified. Uh, it does have the uh, factory exhaust leak installed. So the passenger side manifold is leaky. Uh, and you'll hear that in a moment when we start it up. So let's go ahead and start it stock up front and then we'll move to the back. And now we're going to blast zero to 60 and see what the hell that sounds like. Uh, we have two people in the car right now, air conditioning off. Uh, we're going to turn off traction control and uh, put it in drive. slow down to zero and uh, ignore whatever that speed limit sign up there says and let's do that one more time Okay, this is uh, after the headers from Pace Setter have been installed. These are the shorty Pace Setter header thingies. Uh, we're just going to do two blasts up to 60 miles an hour, same location, same direction we did before. Uh, traction control is turned off, just like in the last case. Uh, same passengers in vehicle, meaning myself and my wife. Uh, there is slightly less gasoline in here, so imagine there's about eight pounds less of weight. And also I peed earlier. So like eight and a half pounds less of weight. <laughs> 